Carla, wow, you're so early. Very good. Well, not early, actually. Very right on time. <laughs> yes. And how are you, Carla? How was your weekend? Uh, fine. Very busy because I I have to work. Oh, on, on Saturday and Sunday or just Saturday? Just Saturday in my in my home but all day in this job so very tired home office good evening teacher mm -hmm. yes. good evening and good evening, good evening, evening. everybody mm -hmm. good evening uh, your microphone my microphone was i don't hear teacher no you don't hear me I don't hear nothing. Okay, okay. Uh, Carla, can you hear me? Yes. Nothing. I can hear you. Okay. Isaac, can you hear me? Yes. Nothing. Yeah, can you hear away, me? Teacher. Yes, teacher, I can. Okay. okay, so then I think it's Luis. <laughs> okay. So Luis, I know you can hear me, but I'm gonna write it down. Oh, yes, I am here. Can you hear me, Luis? Yes, I hear you. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. I thought maybe there was a little problem, okay. Yeah. We're good. Sometimes it takes a moment for the audio to connect. Okay, great. So we're gonna take a moment, we're gonna start off. Um, How do you pronounce your name, Gisak Sio? Uh, well, hello, first of all. Uh, my name is Isaac, but I log in with my uh, Facebook account. So that's the reason why I I log in like that, right? But actually, it's pronounced uh, Gisak Sio. It's uh, something like my nickname. Something like that. Okay. Okay, Isaac. Hey, and Isaac, this is the first time you joined the class, right? Yeah, this class, yes. But uh, it's because uh, I... It's why, actually, because uh, I was a little bit sick uh, a few days ago, so that's the reason why I can't connect. And in my work, in my job, I, I have a lot of problems uh, with the schedules and stuff like that, right? And for that reason, I, I have some some problems to connect. I, I get uh, to my to my home really really late and i i was really tired to to connect with i am really so sorry for that but but nowadays i i, I try to to put up date right great great to have you um just because just to let you know that we are actually um we are already in unit four we are in less yeah four. Okay. And actually was... i i i was uh, i was watching the the, the, the videos on, on youtube so uh -huh. Oh, okay. so I, I get a little bit uh, some ideas that the, the, the topics that you're you're discussing right now, right? Okay, okay, that's great, great. Yes, because I thought, oh my God, you are the first day and to connect on the platform and to do the exercises and the midterm is, is a lot of work. <laughs> Well, actually, I, I I was working on the platform. Uh, the first the first day that I had my 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 my, my connection, but uh, the problem was that two or three days late, I get sick. I got sick. I'm sorry, and uh, I have a lot of problems to 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 stay well. Like like I I feel like right, and but now, nowadays uh, I am really cool. So okay, so, here okay. I am right. All right. Well, good. Good to hear that. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, today we're going to be beginning. We're going to actually start with a great topic. I think for me, I think it's one of the a good topic because it gives you the opportunity to speak quite a bit. Um, the idea of today's topic is being able to tell stories. Okay. So this is actually the unit four is you will learn how to tell stories, which is great because this is something that we do all the time, right? Whether it's about our um, vacation, whether it's about something that happened to us or just with telling stories in general. Okay. So we're gonna start off with a little bit about this. 
we're going to watch um, the video uh, about a spooky story. Do you know what is the meaning of this word spooky? What could be spooky? Right here. This is a spooky story. Mm -hmm. spooky. What's the idea of spooky? spooky. It's crazy movie, you know. Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Spooky is another synonym for scary or frightening. That is another synonym would be spooky. Okay. So we're going to start by watching a small video about this. Here it says around the campfire. The campfire is the place where people typically in the movies have marshmallows or they put milk chocolate and is the place where they have the fire. They call this the campfire. Okay. Okay. So let's watch this video. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the field, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, 
In the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay, now we're going to take just a moment and we're going to have two different things that we're going to do, okay? One, we're going to summarize the story with our partners. So in our partners, we're going to take a moment and explain what is the story, what happens in it, uh, what the girl is talking about. And then the second part, what, why are they scared, okay? So at the end, why are they scared? So one, summarize the story that they tell. Two, why are they scared? Then we're going to talk about a story that has that we told or a story that has been told to us. This story can be anything, but you're going to say it in English. It can be um, La Ciguanaba, it can be El Cito Tío, it can be La Carreta Chillona, whatever you remember. But the important is that you tell the story in English. Okay, so we have two big tasks. The summary of the story that we read, what, sorry, that we listened to, and then Second, a story that you have told or has been told to you, okay? Now, if you don't know a scary story, it's okay. The important is practicing the pronunciation, fluency, and intonation, right? And the pace. But the idea is to try to have this. So, any questions? Oh. That's good. Great. If you just came in, um, I know some of you are just connecting. Uh, if you want, we are in lesson 4.1. And in this moment, we are going to make the groups and your partner can tell you. Tell the story of what we heard and then tell your own story. I'll give each group uh, 10 minutes. So each group has 10 minutes to do the two activities. Okay. okay. story do you have uh, some situation in your life um, for me i never have situation and you uh, yes a uh, different situation similar um i remember from the uh, that born my baby uh, 19 years ago. Uh, remember, uh, okay. Why are we going to What I understand, understand, and um, in history, and finish, and um, a person is is uh, is part of the history. I understood the the history. A history, a video. Mm -hmm. I 
I don't in this on the beach here. I I cost me the the listen. Uh, listen, uh, repeat. Um, uh, repeat for example. Mm -hmm. oh. I remember. I remember when I was. I am. I I was a child. I remember that uh, school. The the back the school is it it was uh one space very close and the children the partner say uh, the the she the it go out the mano peluda <laughs> and the and and the part time all the kids uh, we went to back the school and be quiet and uh, is a spy tra for try to saw something and say Shh, e, all kids running for the other side and screaming. Yeah. I remember that. And you? Uh, me, when I was such. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. So, uh, yes. tell me. Well, I don't know. I don't know any scary move, a scary story. I don't. I don't like the the scary and te, um, movies or terror. I don't know. I don't okay. like it, and and I don't know what <laughs> is the story. I don't know. Well, try to, to, to tell something about your, your life or something like that, that that happened to you. I don't know, something scary or something that was a when, little bit, I don't know, traumatic, right? Yeah, bucket is a white flower, uh, the groom. Okay. The groom has in the, in, yeah, when they walk around the, the farm, maybe it's supposed during that night, the, the groom. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe he, he has uh, a bucket, uh, bucket white flower. Uh, and I, I don't know if you remember the video on the one day in the end, uh, the boy, uh, the, the boy, maybe there, I don't remember very well the name, he's tell, he's tell, he, uh, he gave a bucket, a bucket, a bucket the, flower, a bucket the flower, okay. uh, uh, at, at okay. the, the gear. And that moment, you know, the, the lady remember that that man is supposed is that I don't how do you say ambula teacher in the, in English? Uh, the movie, the movie terrorific. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> movie. The ambula the, the, the movie. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, movie, yeah. Uh, the, the light that the lady in that moment uh, wake up. <laughs> Wake up and hey, what happened? The the man may support the man is the the spoken in the, in the in the story. Uh but and maybe I, I I don't know, I, I remember very well, but <clears throat> and, okay. but the, the lady is he, she's died in the I was a, a little uh, I heard a noise in my room when they pull the the bank on me. It's very scary. Mm -hmm. uh, I I was I was a very scary in the, in in the night and in the in the twelve uh, twelve a.m. and 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 go go to 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 uh um um. Uh, no, I'm going to turn turn on the light, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, um, I'm I'm sleeping in the in the in the in the, in the light. <laughs> the similar situation I live when I when I when I saw the el el, el, el. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
this movie uh, it was talking about that girl with her hair long. It's true, man. It's true. Yeah. I don't remember, but I did that. Did that? Did the girl? <laughs> this is the ring. And, <laughs> and I remember that when I saw <laughs> this movie. I never sleep alone. Mom, mom, please. They watch on TV. <laughs> yes. And I saw the girl sit down in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very scary. Yes. And in my in, in, in my in my in my imagine the girl. Uh, walk in the house and I sit down in my bed and I can sleep alone. Wow. Will... <laughs> it's very horrible. <laughs> but now when I never, never, I, I see this movie again, but for what I, very, very horrible. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't like this these car movies. I, I don't like car movie in, in mm -hmm. the in the in the night. Um, <laughs> in the night, no, I, I don't like. But when I was uh, young, <laughs> young and happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that I saw only uh, scar movies. Only scar movies. I watch any anything. Uh, uh, scar movies. I only only saw scar movies, but now I I don't like it. Me too, me too. Uh, and the younger uh, all the scar movie, and the partner, <laughs> and my best friend, mm -hmm. and my girlfriend, and 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 today no, no like. Mm -hmm. I don't like, and mm -hmm. my and my daughter. Uh, She's light and uh, only afternoon, not not at night. <laughs> but I remember that I a uh, partner, uh, university partner, I invite me to the movie and I and I went to a when I to a El Exorcista movie. Yeah, El Exorcist. In the in the cine in the cinema. <laughs> what? <laughs> and my partner, uh, my best friend, look at that, look at that, no, look at that, look at your eyes. <laughs> and pay for, oh, and for going, see what happened. It's not, this is very crazy. Yeah. Pay for, ah, it's not, it's not, it's not logic. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay. So I see for some it's easy, for some a little bit more difficult. Some of you like scary stories, some of you know. It's okay. The important is to be able to tell a story. It's not important if it's scary or not scary. The important is telling a story. One thing that's very important when we tell stories are our grammar usage. We normally use past simple or past continuous. This is very common to use when we're talking about our, uh, a story. It happened before, okay? So one of the important parts is to make sure that it's clear what is the difference between a past simple and a past continuous. Does anybody have an idea or examples or an explanation, the difference between past simple and past continuous? Uh, past uh, continuous, uh, you always have to use ING form. And the simple plus is just for infinitive. You just, just need to use uh, the verb in past, right? For example, saw, I saw something, and the example and, uh, and the other, and the past continuous will, could be, 
I was watching ING4 and and the the other thing right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Anybody else? I remember one ruler, and I don't know. I remember bit, um, a little bit uh, our uh, grammatical ruler uh, is used first uh, a pass a, sim, a, a pass progressive uh, the complement uh, the simple pass interrupt the action the the pass progressive. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also correct, Luis. Good, good. That's right. The simple, if you use the two in the same sentence, the simple past interrupt, the past continues. Okay. In your way. What uh, Yikasel said was that it's correct that it, the, the past continuous is the ing form. The yeah. simple past is just the verb if it's regular with ed. If it's irregular, we put in the past. Yeah. Eat, ate, right? See, saw. But if it's regular, played, worked, uh, visited the ed. Okay. So we're going to watch a small video to help us. So when we're telling stories, we are clear when to use the past continuous and when to use the past simple. Now, Luis mentioned the word past progressive. In English, it's a synonym of past continuous. Past progressive and past continuous is the same. It's not different. It's only talking about the past. But as a tip, always, all of your life, if you hear continuous or progressive, it means ing. The difference is what form? The present progressive, the present continuous, ah, the first word, the verb to be in present, and the second word in ing. The past progressive, the past continuous, ah, the verb to be in past, and the verb in ing. The future continuous, okay, ah, the verb to be in the future, will be, and the verb with ing. But is the tip, always, always, progressive or continuous is ing. Only the difference is present, past, future, or perfect. And this is the verb to be. Okay? That's going, so when you are reading or when you see, always you remember, ah, the first word is the verb to be, and the second word is the verb. Okay? Yeah. Let's watch a small video and learn a little bit more. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn the difference between the past continuous and the simple past. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted. Uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you. In order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So, for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So, let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So, if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred. So the example here is while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So if we look at the timetable here at the bottom, we can see that the past event was, or the past continuous event was, that 
he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden, this action was interrupted by this blue event, which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is uh, similar. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here. Um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive uh, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverge, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form. But let's make sure that it makes sense. While, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, and here we should use this verb, okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. Okay, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress, and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers, and we're going to say where, we're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. And we also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. So you're going to do this using the past continuous and the simple past form. Okay, so let me summarize it in other ways in case it's not clear. The past continuous or the past progressive is the first action, is the activity that began or that started. The past simple is the second action or the action like Luis mentioned that interrupted. Okay, so today as an example, maybe in this moment I was uh, participating in class. I was listening to English. I was uh, taking notes. 
and then interrupt my partner uh, spoke to me the telephone rang the electricity went out whatever action happened that stopped or that interrupted is the past simple so how do you know well if you're reading the sentence you have to think logically what is first and many times this is more difficult than the order because as an example do you take a shower first or do you get dressed so or do you get dressed and then take a shower is not the order is the words remember right you can't say i got dressed and was taking a shower or can you say i was taking a shower and got dressed right both have the same rule both have ing and ed the difference is which action happened first obviously you were taking a shower the second action is you got dressed okay so we're going to try it similar okay in our activities we're going to try with our partners completing with the verb like in the example from that they give in the video okay so do we use ing or do we use ed to complete the sentences so with our partners we're going to go to 4.4 knowledge check and here we have 4.4 uh, 4. 4. 4 knowledge check and you see part one we have three sentences all part of the same idea divers hit the jackpot in the second one we have sorry about that let me go back hmm. i apologize the second one is similar okay it's all about the same topic and you and your partners have to decide which one is the correct one okay so the second one is four-legged customers okay and that's it so we have two parts part one diver hits jackpot and part two about the four-legged customers 4.4 with your partners you read and you decide how is the verb okay all you have to do is put in the verb in the correct form Four point four. Okay. And this uh, diver hit the jackpot or what happened? Is we're walking. Uh huh. Is we're walking. Do you have? Yeah. And you, Guillermo? Yeah, I have the, the, the answer. Okay, the, white, the number one. The white divers work of the coast of Florida. We're working. We're working. Yes, it's correct. And the next, discover it. Only the simple past. Correct. All right. Example here. It had four, 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 seven, 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 seven. We're working. We're working. We're working. You I no veo nada. <laughs> mm. 
Why were? Oh, uh, Ah, de, de, eh, de paz, de paz, este, simple, continuo. Oh. Yeah, paz continuos, and the tip de paz. Why we dealers were working? We you were, mm, were working. No, remember, it's only the answer, not copy the sentence. Ah, okay, answer. Only the answer, only the answer. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Then okay. through the window and no. suddenly had a great, great idea. idea. Okay. Later, what he was creating. Uh, we have and uh, partners that that it it practice and it activities is very difficult for actually actually i know well right now the the the, the, the mystery is, is here so so i i approach the time to to say that <laughs> the story is a little bit complicated not for the use to the to the to the the way to you use the the birds or the ing or the or the or the or the other form the way is to 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 discover how to to write this thing right mm -hmm. or how to 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 write it this correctly the point mm -hmm. the dots and the kind of things right a little bit complicated for that reason not just to the the the, the exercise was a little bit complicated or was hard right for the most of people, the verb in past is very difficult. Yeah, actually, for me, it's difficult, but not for the way to use. It's for the way that I, I, I had to, <laughs> to, to, to write this, this thing right. right. <laughs> yes. So I, I don't know if you want to move on to the other, to the other, uh, to the other example. I don't know, the, the, the mister yes. gives permission to, to pass it again. OK, that's, that's really nice. Go on to the next one. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the class, you will learn how to develop skills and listening for the test. Develop not staking skill. Listen to new stories. Okay. 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 This is the video, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I show something because let me check. And okay. in the when they finish this video yes. appear the 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 exercise. Okay. This exercise. We'll... Let, me, let me check. I don't. Okay. Uh, look at the second part. Uh, maybe I I, okay. I have already. I don't Was know if you are. Uh, I don't know if you have. Uh, I have already this this answer. Yes. I don't remember. Teacher in the in the question is he was coming up. If you think it's the ing, yes. But coming, coming. Uh huh. If if coming. not, it's in the past tense. But if you use ing, you need to use the verb to be. He was coming. Okay. Coming up with. Okay. Here is my no, no, he... mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. Okay. So then it's not the past continuous, right? It's common, yeah. Pasado, past, past, simple, simple past. Yes. Uh, coming, uh, coming. Mm. No, no. It's bad. <laughs> mm. Which is the past 
Com. Com. In the past. Com. 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 Came. The past of come is came. The past came, yeah. How do you cry? With A, came. No. Came. Came. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Came up with. Correct. No. No, 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 no. Came, came up with. Okay. Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. There okay. you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, I see everybody uh, should, was just about finished or finished with that. The in, Just a couple of tips. One is if you use ing, is obligation to use the verb to be. If you use the verb to be, is obligation to use ing. What do I mean? For example, uh, 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 um, let's try... If I have, this is correct, was eating. This is not correct, was ate. Okay. This is not correct, eating. Is only correct the verb to be and the ing. So if, you, if your decision is to use ing, is obligation the verb to be. If you use the verb to be, is obligation to use the ing okay so it's never correct to use one and not the other or to use the word only with ing okay the other is the other tip that i saw that is good to help everyone is you do not put ed in the irregular verbs if you put irregular that means if you change the spelling is it is not ed. If you do not change the spelling, for example, a word like stay, if the word is the same, then you put ed. These are some two of the biggest parts of the confusion that I saw. One, the verb to be and ing, always. And two is do not put ed with the irregular. That means if you change the spelling, no ed. Okay. Are there any questions for this part? No? Okay. No. So, no, I don't have a question. All right. Well, our next part is actually a little bit more about skills and listening for details develop note-taking skills, and listen to news stories. Here are several news broadcasts, okay? Now, I think all of us know a news broadcast because we watch, or we have seen many on TV, right? We watch uh, maybe Telemundo, Cuatro Vision, uh, Six, right? The different CNN maybe um, in Spanish or the marketplace, okay? We watch many different news stories, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna watch a small video about a news broadcast. What are you going to do? You are going to take notes. What are the stories? What do they talk about? Okay. What are the different stories that you hear? It's okay? Okay. Okay, so let's watch and take notes. What are the different stories that we observe and listen to? Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details. The 
develop note-taking skills. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Was that okay or one more time? One more time. One more time, please. Okay. Two teenage girls who disappeared from off his neck in time. The snake squeezed more and more. The man put it around his neck. See the snake after friends told three and a half meter snake in a town in time. Okay. Remember, there are three stories. So, what are the stories? Where do they take? Where do they take place? And what happens? Okay. Where? what happens okay and what the stories are about a man was seriously injured on sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in thailand it seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads the man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home the snake squeezed more and more tightly Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, so we have three stories, very different stories, okay? So the first story. Go ahead, it's okay, you can explain. If it's wrong, no problem. In the first story, is in Australia, they're the main for the snake. Okay. More or less, you are correct. The first story is with it's the in snake. Thailand. Thailandia. But it's in Thailand. Thailand. Yes. In Thailandia. Thailand. Yes, Thailand. No, uh huh. Or a snake. And what happened with the snake? What is the? What do you understand is happening in the story with the snake? Man put in your neck, and 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 the snake is squeezy your neck. 
Correct. His neck. His neck. Excellent. That's right. The man found the snake, put the snake on his neck, and then snake squeezed. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the second story? What happened in the second story? Two teenage gir girls disappear. Yeah, when in the in the north coast australia mm -hmm. excellent two teenage girls disappear in the north part of australia how how did that happen for they, the the they sleep they sleep and when when they woke up wake up it, they are in they are in singapore okay okay and then jump correct so they fell asleep and when they woke up the boat was going to singapore and they jumped and they went they were in australia they jumped and they began to walk for many days to find this town Okay, good. And what happened in story number three? Found a shore and had to walk for several days to get to it. Repeat, Eduardo. Mm. No, 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 I understand. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. Can someone help? What happened in story number three? In California. Uh, in California, two cops um, for control the the control vehicular and a thief. Okay, so we have in California, we have the police, two cops, two police, right, and a thief, the person who takes the things, yeah. right, yeah. A thief. What happened? In that situation, the, the thief rescued on the police when the, the car crashed under I don't know Barranco. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the thief rescued at the police when the, the police and the perse 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 persecution. Uh, maybe I I don't know is he he lost the control of the, the car and. Uh, and have they they have an accident and the the tears for the river re uh -huh, re uh, the the tears return and to help at uh, the cap correct that's right so the police were in persecution of the thief they were chasing they lost control and they fell into a river they fell into a river, river. Okay. And the thief returned and saved the police. Yeah. And then the police say, thank you. No, no problem. <laughs> no worries. You, you, you can go for free. No, they were captured. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, very good. We are going to pause there. Tomorrow, we're going to continue learning about the past tense. We're going to review past simple, past continuous, and begin with the past perfect, okay? If you did not finish the exam on over the weekend, if you did not finish the exam Saturday and Sunday, remember, complete unit three exam, the midterm, okay? Complete, and then we continue tomorrow, unit four, with the past okay. perfect. Okay. 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 Have a nice night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank see you. you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.